Yo, we got Sean Strickland destroy Sneeko, Jake Paul, and MGK in 24 hours by Araco TV. How did he destroy them? Like, he said something about all three of them to, like, really humble them and sit them down? Like, what, what, what the hell happened? I don't know, but it's in my recommended tab, so we're about to go ahead and check this out, man. Without further ado, let's get it. Sean, nice to meet you, Sneeko. What's up, man? What's name? Sneeko. Okay. Congrats on the win and everything. Sneeko, who the f*** you, Sneeko? I'm just a uh, guy. I'm you working train? on everything. What do you do? I do train. I do some Damn. Sir. So I, I don't like that term. What are you? I'm a guy, man. What are you? Why you get on there like that? Are you, are you is he an influencer? I guess I, I guess so. Yeah. Well, keep it going. Man. I guess it's because he brought the camera. Can you give some some words of, of wisdom? I liked your podcast with the Nelk Boys. They, to see him get pressed like that for the first time was funny. Majority of influencers are. Yeah. Look at this goddamn oh, ear, bro. A decent man. Stay up on Instagram, stay up TikTok, you have a better life. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. Now, I'm sure like it hurt. you know who these two are for different reasons. One of them's a UFC fighter called Sean Strickland, and uh -huh. one's a streamer called Sneeko. And this is the first time they met before Sean Strickland gave Sneeko a serious case of the beast. Oh, 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 damn, hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> I, I didn't see that coming. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Was that him? That was actually Sneeko? It's hard to tell because he covered up. Damn. Why he beat him up? What happened? <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm glad I clicked on this video. As you could probably tell from that first clip, Sean Strickland had no idea who Sneeko was. Uh -huh. Once he found out who he was, he posted this on Instagram. He said, what advice would you give to Sneeko? Got sent this of a little backstory on this man. Damn. Don't let dudes tee off on your girl. Ooh. Andrew Tate is a con artist. Mm. Act like a man. Damn. Damn. Now, he said, don't let dudes tee off in your girl because Sneeko once admitted this on a podcast. Oh, yeah. As soon as I saw, like, three pumps in, I just got up and walked out. I was like, I can't, I can't do that. And for those of you who don't know, Sneeko was also close to Andrew Tate, or he was trying to be like... How you even let that happen, bro? Strickland is not a fan of Andrew Tate whatsoever. You know, take somebody like Andrew Tate. You seem to share a lot of similar values with him. We share a lot of values, but Andrew Tate, as young Oh, my man, God. I don't mean to get off topic, bro, but the goddamn cauliflower ear. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God, that little, oh, the pain. You know how many times you gotta get punched in your ear for it to? All right, back on topic, back on topic. Values with them. I just had to point that out. Values, but Andrew Tate, as young men, I can see why you guys look up to him because you are moralist men. You have no values, you have no positive Damn. role models. So you latch onto a piece of shit like Tate who has money, <laughs> who has women. You say, no, I wanna be like Tate. All my problems in the world, they're because women are me that's not it andrew tate is a con artist you ever watch an interview where he goes on in detail about how he pretended to be a cam girl and used to rob people's savings the reason why oh, that's messed up shitty high on days one i'm cheap very cheap <laughs> but <clears throat> like the entire world makes you feel inadequate everything we do from what you wear to what you drive you are born living in the fucking, a commercial we are creating mm -hmm. a generation of boys who judge their character by what they drive and what they wear. Uh -huh. I don't participate in making people feel like you are not enough. If you work in a job, if you do rebar, if you do electrical, I think that the value of you is by how you act, by the kind of father you are. You single yeah. out there that, you know, maybe you want a fucking BMW to get that Instagram. You know, maybe that's <laughs> what you want. I'm telling you right now, if you meet a girl and she doesn't want to be with you while you're driving a fucking Hyundai accent, she ain't the fucking one, dude. Right. So, because that just means she's a, not a high value woman. You gotta get a get you a high value yeah. woman, not the and low value women. Red. Oh my red god! Red Look at that. If Andrew Tate was right here, bro, he wouldn't even make eye contact with me. He'd be so fucking scared of me. Side note: that yellow monster, that uh, I think it's that white pineapple. That motherfucker take good, but hey, I, I like the flavor on that thing. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with what they was just talking about. But I like the flavor on that. So, <laughs> now, I like the flavor on that. Being said between Sean Strickland and Sneeko. Until Sean Strickland recently went on the Theo Von podcast and he broke down in tears when he was talking about his past. Dude, I remember like laying in bed. Like I remember I stopped believing God, man. Like ah, oh, I can't do that. Like I had fucking, um, yeah, it's crazy shit, dude. Mm. It's crazy shit, man. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that man been through some things, boy. You can see it. 
And this was Sneeko's opinion after seeing Sean Strickland break down on the podcast. People are calling Sean Strickland a hypocrite because he talks nonstop about being a real man and what a real man is. He was talking about people's wives, and then somebody talks about things personal in his life and he starts crying, and then saying that you shouldn't talk about that. It sounds weird to really come up with a moral high ground, especially when things get that personal leading up to a fight. I remember seeing him like make fun of people. Huh? UFC press conferences for for crying and then he he cries on a podcast and then has like a whole bunch of justifications for it he wasn't crying because someone said something about him that hurt his feelings dumbass he was crying because he was remembering the bad times the hard ass times he had to go through there's probably a lot of other things that were associated with that that he didn't say on the microphone that just makes him sad when he thinks about it he's glad he's through it He's through it. He's past it. He's, you know, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know what his net worth is. From what I hear, you UFC fighters are notoriously underpaid. Like, you know, they're not as big and rich as you would think that they would be. For people who go out there and put their bodies on the line fighting motherfuckers all the time. UFC fighters aren't as rich as you think they are. Except for the, like, you know, the top, top ones. But he got money now, obviously. But he stays humble and he been through some shit. You can see it. You can hear it in his voice that he been through some shit. That's what he's crying about, bro. He's not, he's crying because he got through the shit. And again, it's probably still sad to think about. It ain't like someone made him cry and offended him with something they said. Are you dumb? Context is important, people. Now I've got no idea if Sean Strickland's even seen that clip or if it has anything to do with what he does to Sneeko later on. Mm, mm, mm. But mm, oh, that is Sneeko, okay. They ended up bumping into each other again. I got to see his face that time. Happened. What's up, man? Should I say hi to Strickland? All right, let's say hi. Let's say hi to Strickland. Sean Strickland. Oh, you're not letting anybody in your wife, right? Absolutely not, Sean. Absolutely not, Sean. We don't do that over here. I respect that, bro. Hell no. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I think that'd be fun. He want them hands. I'll be in town for a couple more days. But boxing, though, MMA is a little, I don't know if that's going to be. Have you had a boxing fight? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. We are wrestling tomorrow at 11. Wrestling? No, I'll box while we rest. I'll give you a couple rounds. Okay, I'm supposed to train with Jake Shields tomorrow, so if you want to come at the same time. Yeah, but we'll be at 11. All right, I'll see you there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to hurt. That's going to... You know it's going to hurt. That's going to be painful. Sneeko is a small dude, bro. He's probably yeah, tall. He's right. It does end up being very But he's skinny as hell. It's only because he had the balls to actually show up and spar with him. Even if he does get called a cuck and bruised up in the process. Let's see the influencer. Oh, my goodness. He finna beat him. If you knock me out, how cool that would look for your, uh, you can actually accomplish something by doing nothing. You know, as his rapper crushes, this guy can tell us. My goodness, bro. Okay, did he get one? You're about to spill a significant more amount of pain. Bro, someone talking to you while you're throwing punches at their face? Telling you, bro, there's nothing you can do to hurt me, and now I'm about to you're about to feel a more significant amount of pain here in a bit. Bro, fuck that, dog. You're about to have a really bad day in the next minute. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Uh oh. <laughs> Hope y'all can't hear my knocking. My neighbors are over there beating each other, I guess. I don't know what all that damn noise is. Go. Oh, there you go. oh, damn, 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 damn. Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm. Woo. Damn. Get him. Get him again. Get some more. Oh, oh. God. God damn. Hey, Sneak on that photo. Hey, yeah, he just, yeah, he just said it. You didn't fall down. I will give him that. The man didn't fall. All right. Beat the brakes off that man. He ain't fall, though. Respect for that. I ain't gonna lie. Good job. I ain't never been no hater. I'm gonna get his back where it's due now. He ain't fall down. I don't know how much force he was putting behind it, but it looked like he was really hitting him with a little something. 
I tell you what, whether you like Sneeko or not, respect to him for actually having the balls or maybe lack of brain cells. Uh, for actually uh, turning uh, up and sparring uh, with the former UFC uh, champion uh, because uh, many people wouldn't dare. Uh, Sneeko may not be able to throw the best punch, but I tell you what, he can take a punch. My bad, I know I'm making sound effects over uh, Arco talking down in the corner. The way Sneeko dealt with all this afterwards as well, because he bumps into Sean Strickland again and there was no hard feelings. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I just want to say, I don't think you deserve the hate that you're getting on the social media. Is he getting hate? I don't, they, they're getting hate? I mean, they're giving him backlash. They're saying that like he went too hard. I know that everybody knows. They must not know who this is. Maybe let me tell you something. I like Sneeko. Some things you've done are questionable, but you're better. Everybody does a questionable thing. Okay. I would take your life gladly. But I don't mean that personally. I would probably anybody in this room for the most part besides my friend. In there, bro. You showed up and you sparred, man. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta respect it. He did it the right way. He took that beating. And everybody who's saying that he went too hard, bro, this is what he does. I knew that going into it. That's what I expected. Mm -hmm. He didn't step over the lines at all. Sneeko knew that he was stepping in with an animal and he knew that he was going to catch a serious case of the beast. Sure, yeah. Strickland is not the type of fighter that you spar with if you just want to practice and you don't want to get hurt. He said himself <laughs> that he enjoys hurting people. And yeah, I'm a bullying an asshole and I like to hurt people. Oh, damn. Let's go. You kind of have to, though. Like, UFC fighters, I feel like all UFC fighters have, like, a screw loose. Like, uh, some of them are well put together, but some of them is like when you hear them talk about violence, you can just see it in their eyes. You can hear it in their voice. They have a certain love of violence that most human beings just don't have. So like UFC fighters, they genuinely do enjoy hurting people. Now they don't want to just, they're not crazy to where they just out here trying to hurt people for no reason. But if you give them reasonable grounds to cause pain, they revel in it, bro. UFC fighters, them dudes is crazy, bro. Like I said, they got a goddamn screw loose. And them the dudes that really would kill you with their bare hands if you gave them a reason to do so. Like, don't mess with them niggas, man. Oh, that's what. Fighters in general, people who just fight for a living, dudes be crazy, bro. Like y'all ever heard of some of those fighters that don't start fighting better, good until they get hit? Like they gotta get hit first. I've heard fighters say that they don't really like feel like they in the fight until they can taste blood in their mouth. Once you get get hit in the mouth and they can taste blood. That's when they really turn up. There has been people that have jumped in to defend Sneak. It was crazy. UFC fighter Bilal Muhammad, who said that Sean Strickland's got pillow hands. How's it going? Feel good, yeah. Yeah, big. This pillow guy, hands. We were with those guys that are airheads that are like slow, that don't understand it. They want to just make like a, try to make you look stupid. But oh, okay. Sean Strickland's one of those guys that wants to make you look stupid. So what did you think overall? What okay. should I work on the tough. Like, I mean, we all know Sean got pillow hands. <laughs> you also got a chin. Pillow hands. Okay. Someone said below zero knockdowns ever Muhammad saying anyone has pillow hands is crazy. Zero knockdowns ever Muhammad? Is that just a little nickname that he gave him or do people really call him that? He ain't never knocked nobody down before? And it's 786 likes on the comment. So I know you ain't out here saying people got pillow hands and you ain't even got no knockdowns, family. I know you ain't doing that. Ah, oh, hell nah. You, we don't, we don't respect your opinion then on that. Now, he, yeah, he's still a UFC fighter. I know he got hands. I know he got dubs, you know what I'm saying? So like that, that's that's one thing. But if he really ain't out here knocking nobody down, you can't say nobody got pillow hands specifically. You just can't say Another that. Another person that jumped in to defend Sneeko was TikTok tough guy Bryce Hall. I, I know this is crazy to say. I know this dude still box? was out here. You think so? Yes. It would be very, very close. Sean Strickland, how smart are you drunk as He's here. You can tell you. He's here. Where is he? He's here. Go He's been here the whole event. Go tell him in person. I literally would. You would? Stop the cap. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. This is one of them situations where he's trying to get a viral moment. It's kind of like how when Flight reacts, sees a real hooper hoop and starts talking about how the dude ain't really that good and how Flight actually thinks he has a chance to beat the dude. Flight, you trying to set up a 1v1 for some views, for some money, nigga. We know what it is. But he gonna get them. He gonna get, he gonna get them views. It's Flight reacts. He gonna get that. He gonna get that 1v1. He gonna get them views. He gonna get that bread. I'm, it's not hating or nothing like that. I'm just saying, Flight, we know what you're doing. When you try to call out a legit hooper and think, oh, I think I know I could beat him. You don't actually think you could beat this Hooper, bruh. You try to get this 1v1 set up. You're not slick. Bryce Hall, you try to get this damn spar session set up so you can have your viral moment. That's what you want. You don't actually believe that you could box with this dude. Cut it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Will Let's he punch me in person? He definitely will. Right now. I'd rather have Dana like be the middleman and like set it up. Okay. So I don't get punched bare enough on my jaw. Trying to get a payday. 
I ain't mad at it, but nigga, you not, you know you're not gonna rock it. I'm not gonna lie. Not smoke. I, I would say A few minutes later. I could almost guarantee me and Sean Strickland spar boxing. I would crack him. He's right there standing. Jack, tell me what if you should say to his face too if this should just be online. I just feel like he would beat the fuck out of me if it was like right now. Damn, all these people really want to see me get my ass beat in person. <laughs> Yeah. I'd rather do it like when I'm sober. Now Bryce Hall did actually recently win a bare knuckle fight. Oh, did he? Mm, mm, okay. But we also can't forget that he lost to this donor. Wow! I remember that shit, bro. This fight was so embarrassing. This fight was so he embarrassing. Was delusional or both to think that he'd have any chance against a Sean Strickland. And I think Strickland just wants any excuse to punch these influences in the face because he actually responded. He said, tomorrow. Sign me up. He also <laughs> sent a direct message to Bryce Hall saying, you want to see a dead body? God, this is the only thing I ever wanted. Please, please, please. I never asked you for nothing. Bro. Please. What have I got myself into? They love Boy, violence, bro. Shitting myself. I can't back out now. Jay Paul's another one who decided- You give him a reason? He started tweeting at Sean Strickland. He basically said that Sean Strickland's a horrible boxer. He should fight him and he's a bitch for picking on Sneeko. Oh my God. Here Jake Paul go again, trying to fight an MMA fighter in a boxing match. Oh my goodness. Jake Paul, he actually has a legitimate chance to get in the match though, because it's Jake Paul. I guess we'll see where that goes in the future. Sean Strickland responded by saying he's a waste of space. He doesn't like him, but he'd love to be stuck on a desert with him so he could do what he wants to him. This nigga's crazy. There's only one influencer <laughs> that stand a chance against Sean Strickland, and that's Mr. 260 himself, Bradley Martin. But Bradley okay. Martin was too busy street wrestling with other UFC fighters. <laughs> He ain't get scooped? Okay, he ain't get scooped. He ain't get scooped. Why you breaking up, man? Mugs having fun. Hey, this right there, just real quick, just real quick, as an aside, I've talked about this topic before. I'm gonna talk about it again. That is proof right there. Y'all should, of course, they're not in a real environment, so we're not really trying to go crazy. But size matters is all I'm trying to say, bro. People always try to act like, cause, cause I've seen so many people who like know Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and they just think that they could just whoop anybody regardless of size. Bro, some of these BJJ practitioners be out here 130 pounds soaking wet. You're not scooping up and dumping or just taking a 300 pound man to the ground with the greatest of ease. You might be able to do it if you're like among the best BJJ practitioners, but you're not just doing that with the greatest of ease, bro. These BJJ practitioners be thinking that they are invincible out here cause they know some BJJ. Dog, uh, you will get your ass whooped too. And it don't matter that you know some BJJ if I'm just three fucking times stronger than you. You're not scooping me, bro. If I have any experience fighting on the ground whatsoever, you're not going to be able to do nothing with me on the ground despite your training. But I don't want to sound like overconfident with it because, again, there's people that have said shit like this and then got their shit rocked by a BJJ practitioner. It happens. But all I'm saying is some of you BJJ dudes, y'all need to chill out. Y'all can't whoop everybody just because you know how to grapple. Stop that shit. This little dude, if they were in like a real ring, I still don't think he would have been able to scoop Bradley Martin, big, strong, 260-pound ass up on the ground. That's what I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Sean Strickland was beefing all these influencers. He also managed to bump into Eminem's son. You got to get your weight up a little bit. MGK, who now painted Eminem's son. So you can only imagine how much Sean Strickland loves this guy, and this is how it went. Uh oh. Was it bad? He said you dress like a vampire. <laughs> he is kind of dressed like a vampire. Dracula looking ass. What just happened with Shingen Cal? No, 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 how do you have a dope ass name and dress like a 13 year old goth South Park character? <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, Machine Gun Kelly has somehow managed to pull Megan Fox. Yep. Uh huh. This also shocked Sean Strickland. I already knew that. Guys, what the f is going on? Transformers Megan Fox is with that thing. What the actual f is that? Bro. What did I miss? Is she okay? Is this man the devil? This Megan man Fox, Sean Strickland okay? be talking his shit. 
He do not care. So within 24 hours, Sean Strickland met Trump, destroyed Sneeko in sparring, and got into an altercation with MGK. <laughs> Impressive. Dana White was asked about this. Man, had an eventful day. What you had to say. Uh, Sean Strickland tweeted that there may have been something between him and Machine Gun Kelly. Can you talk to me about what happened there? You can't bring Sean Strickland around any other human beings. That's like... <laughs> you especially cannot bring Sean Strickland around TikTok donuts to have a death wish like this idiot. Can I get a chew, Papi Munyenya? I don't know who the fuck you are, but in a different setting, I might hit you. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we weren't here, I might have stole your little stupid ass. got some issues, but some of a lot of these feminine little TikTokers. Shoot, papi, muñeño. You know, he may be a loose cannon and lacks some emotional control, but for me, in today's world, it's good to see a man that's proud to be a man and not afraid to say what he thinks. That is a fact. The masses. And if you're some sort of TikToker or influencer that's that desperate for attention and you're trying to use Sean Strickland to get that attention, then you're a complete donut and you need Michael. Get some help. And you might just get punched in the mouth. Man, this dude, Sean Strickland, had an eventful day, bro. But again, I, I can't wait to see where that where this whole thing goes with the Jake Paul thing. Because that, again, it's Jake Paul. So that could legitimately happen. They could legitimately get a match with him and uh, Sean Strickland set up. And they have a, I don't know if Sean Strickland will be winning a box, though. But uh, he's going to have to if they agree to that match. If you give him a big enough payday, maybe he'll take it. I don't know. We'll see. But Sneeko got his ad beat. Jake Paul got to talk his mess to him. He called him GK a vampire. <laughs> that man, Sean Strickland. Like, like Dana White said, you can't bring this man around no other human beings. Man, he just don't give a damn. <laughs> this man, this man, Sean Strickland is funny, bro. But yo, that's gonna do it for this Oracle TV video, bro. Videos are always entertaining. Uh, I said what I had to say about all the subjects in the video. So we're about to go ahead and get up out of this thing. Make sure y'all show a lot of love the video, like, share, and subscribe. For any of y'all who like gamers, check out my Bloodborne walkthrough. Gotta go ahead and plug this in every video that I do until y'all check it out. Till next time, I'm up out of this thing. This is your boy Darwin signing out. Hey,